All right, let's learn about commands. It doesn't matter what language you are learning at this moment, whether you are learning C, C++, Python, JavaScript, for any programming language, commenting is a very important part. Now, why it is really important? So if you are writing any code and if you want to explain to others what basically that code does, then you can use command. So command is something we use for explaining to others what we're basically doing in our program. Now, for an example, you can add a command here. Now, there are two types of command available in C program. One is called single line command. So if you are writing one line of command, then you can use the single line command. If you want to write multiple line of commands, then you can use multi line commands. Now, let's just get introduced with the first one, which is called single line command. So single line command basically start with double slash here. As you can see, there are the way I'm starting here. And basically they are called forward slash if I'm not wrong. So with the help of these two forward slash, you can write anything. So this will be considered as a single line commands. And one more thing I would like to tell you, whatever you are going to write in this command, it will not be compiled. So there will be no output for this. So why we're using this command so that it helps me later on or even others, whoever is going to see this code or whoever is going to work in this project, they will understand what I did here. So here, basically, I'm printing my name. So this command is very obvious. Well, of course, you can see that I'm printing my name. So that's why maybe for any obvious thing, you are not going to do any commenting like this. But let's say if you are trying to add a line of code here, something going to be look like this 0 0.5 into base, let's say, and then into H, something like this, B into H. Now, if you are going to read this code later on this line of code, probably you will not be able to understand what I have done here. So that's why what I can do, I can write a command at the top and I can tell you something like this. Hey, I'm multiplying 0 0.5 uh, with the base and then height. And basically what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to find area of triangle. All right. So basically I'm leaving a command. Why? I'm explaining, I'm providing some information for this line of code. And if I run this program, definitely, as I told you, there will be no output for this line. So again, this is a single line of command, single line command, because I'm writing this command in one line. That's why it's called single line command. Well, you can use multiple line command like this. Let me show you. Let me just take out this one. I will just cut it and I will keep something for later on. So let me show you how to use multiple line command. In order to write multiple line command, you have to start like this. So this is the forward slash and then asterisk. And then you have to finish like this the other way, the reverse way. And now you can put as many line as you wish here. So these are just some commands I'm leaving here. Well, I'm just giving you the example. So maybe it's not meaningful, but don't worry. So you can see there are multiple line at this moment. So if you want to write multiple lines command, then you have to use this syntax. If you want to use single line command, then you can use this syntax. So that's all about the commands. Now, again, let me run this program and let me show you that our compiler basically going to ignore this line. Well, let's run this program here and you will see on Isul Islam and then it's printing my email address, but you don't see that printing my name as an output. As I already told you, commands will be ignored by the compiler. And basically this is served as a documentation for programmers. So whoever is going to read my program, they will have some commands and they will use these commands to understand the codes that I have written in this code base. So I hope you got the idea of commands and from now on you can explain to others what you are doing in which line. But remember, don't do something obvious. Don't do don't put any comments for obvious thing here. I'm just putting like I'm printing my name, which is very obvious. You can see that. So there was no need to put command for this one for sure. But what I could do at the top, maybe here, I could leave a command like this. For an example, you can use command anywhere. doesn't matter. You can add command here. You can add command at the top, at the bottom or anywhere. doesn't matter at all. So here I'm going to say printing my bio. All right, that's all. So in this program, you can see whatever, if anybody come across to this code base, they will see, okay, I'm printing my bio. So this program basically just printing my own information. That's all I wanted to say by this command. So that's all.